It had already left New York, and it was in uh, Schenectady. And uh, the boy that was playing Harlan, uh, who's the youngest of the four boys, it's it's a, it's a wonderful play. It still is. Uh, it's about uh, late 1800s, and uh, Clarence Day is the father, and he's a very kind of bombastic man, and and he's manipulated very wittily by his wife. Uh, in the company that I was in, uh, Percy Wareham played father and Margolo Gilmore played mother. Um, on Broadway was Howard Lindsay and Dorothy Stickney, I believe. And I went in and replaced this boy. And uh, it's about, it, it's all, it's pretty much trying to get the father baptized because they could suddenly find out that he's never been baptized and he won't kneel in church, and it's all about that, and the four boys. And it's, it's, it's just a wonderful play. I played Harlan for two years, and then I played uh, Whitney, the next boy, because they were like steps. When we did the curtain call, we literally were like steps, and we had straw hats on and whatever. But uh, that was in 1941, and then the war came, and, and uh, I think I went out in September, and then December 7th, uh, we were in the war. Well, you were uh, in Life with Father for three years. Right. Um, how long would you uh, uh, stay in uh, each city? It varied. Uh, you played, uh, like Boston, you might play two weeks. Uh, Chicago, you might play a month. Uh, San Francisco was like six, seven weeks. And then you would do one-night stands, where you would go through the Midwest and set, set the play up, do it, strike it, get back on the, live on the train. Um, things got kind of uh, dicey during the war because we started out, we had our own cars uh, on that they would hook, uh, hook onto trains, or we would have our, uh, our baggage cars for the scenery. There was a, a, women, a woman's car for the female members of the cast and a men's car. Well, all of that in the, during the war all got compressed into whatever you could get, whatever transportation you could get. Uh, so there was a period where we did seven weeks of one-night stands the last year I was out, and that was really something. We lived on the train. But we would get sidetracked for uh, military trains, you know, with the kids on it going off to war and, and uh, equipment, you know, tanks and stuff.